Hello, my name is David. Um, I'm just getting into 3D printing. In fact, I've got my first uh, 3D resin printer. I've had an FDM printer in the past, um, but uh, uh, I was doing a ton of research trying to uh, uh, you know, get most of my questions answered before I started to, to work with it. Um, I do have one. It's a Epex X1. Um, I bought it used, got a really good deal on it, but unfortunately a good deal comes with certain uh, uh, issues. Um, the prior owner had a ton of resin all over the outside, inside, and everywhere resin could possibly be. So in the course of taking it all apart, cleaning it, and so on, um, I uh, um, there was a couple of parts that were broke. Uh, one I broke, uh, one was scratched um, and uh, already, and so I've got some parts on order and hopefully by Monday, this being Friday, hopefully by Monday I'll be up and running. Anyways, um, so in part of my research, uh, FEP Films was a big, big deal, a big thorn in everyone's side, having to wait to get uh, film from overseas and then for me because there wasn't a brand associated with the film um, that really didn't sit well with me so I continued to research and come to find out there's only two major companies in the entire world that have patents on FEP film and uh, and they subcontract out to a couple of other smaller companies to make film uh, on their behalf as well as uh, they make the films themselves. So there's one manufacturer in Japan and I forget who what their name is and then there's a uh, brand in uh, here in the United States uh, which is practically a household name here, uh, DuPont. Uh, it's a big, very big chemical company. They make a lot of different products, one of which is FEP film. Um, they also have an NFEP as well, but I don't have that here today. Um, I do uh, plan to get uh, to order some of that and get it in stock. So, the purpose of this video. What I'm going to do is I've got some Anycubic regular uh, FEP film. I have some EPEX uh, NFEP film. And then I have my brand that I'm going to be selling, which is the DuPont uh, FEP film. And so what I'm going to do today is, is I'm going to take this vat, I'm going to mount each one of these, and in an effort to learn for myself which is better, um, as well as to demonstrate to you guys, I'm going to use Gorilla duct tape. I'm going to take off a strip. I'm going to, with the film mounted in the vat, I'm going to attach the duct tape to the inside of the film. Uh, I'm going to punch a hole in the end of the uh, duct tape so that I can pull on it. And then I'm going to use a push-pull meter to try to uh, calculate or try to uh, measure the force that it takes to remove something from this film. Now, some of the big differences between these films, obviously I don't know the exact specs of the Anycubic FEP film or the Epex NFEP, um, but I can tell you that the DuPont stuff um, is all impregnated with Teflon. Uh, they do not make a non-Teflon version of their FEP and NFEP films. Uh, it's all Teflon uh, impregnated, as well as um, it will withstand uh, 260 degrees Celsius in temperature and then there's a lot of other specifications um, that uh, are out there on it. It's from all intents and purposes from what I can tell it's some really good stuff. Um, so we're gonna mount each one of these one at a time into this vat and then we're going to test it out. Um, and uh, I'm going to share my results here with you. Okay, here we go. Okay, we've zoomed in so that uh, you can uh, watch um, how we're going to do this. 
So the very first thing I'm going to do, I am going to speed through mounting and dismounting the, each of the FEPs uh, and NFEP um, just because there's videos out there, there's no need to go through it step by step, okay? You put the screws in the hole, uh, you mount it. Uh, it's not that complicated. Um, so uh, we're going to speed this up and we're going to start with the Anycubic FEP film. Okay, and we're back. Um, as you can see, I mounted it. It's all flush, it's taunt, it sounds real good, um, and it's nice and clear. Nice and fresh and clean. Um, so now I'm going to take approximately a five inch piece of duct tape. I'm going to put a little tab on it, punch a hole in it, so that we've got a nice spot to pull on, and then I'm going to lay it and attach it across the bottom of the FEP film. Just like that. Now we're going to take our meter, which has a hook attachment, and this will live detect either pushes or pulls um, on it. Uh, I'm going to set the units for pounds, and I'm going to set it to hold the peak. So now, no matter how I pull it, so if I don't set for the peak, it just gives me a live reading, which makes it hard to read. If I hit the set, then it will detect the highest uh, reading. And we're going to zero it out, and now we're going to hook it on, and I'm going to slowly pull it up. Okay, and that took 2.1 pounds of pressure to pull it from this FEP. And this is the Anycubic regular FEP. Now, another test that I don't know the outcome, because um, uh, I haven't... Uh, another test that I was thinking of late last night was taking a little bit longer piece, splitting it into two, trying not to get my fingerprints all over it, I wanted to take two smaller pieces and do the same thing, but I wanted these to meet in the middle to simulate or to attempt to simulate pulling from the entire length of the FEP. I don't know if this is going to be any different. I did conduct this test or these tests on the NFEP um, and I just I, I don't know what this is going to do I just thought that it might give a different reading so we're about to find out so I've put these together they've got a pull tab that lines up in the center and it's going to pull all the way across now I don't know whether this is going to give a different reading than, uh, than just pulling one piece, uh, we're about to find out. So here's the 2.1 from before. We're going to zero it out. We're going to hook it onto both of them. I'm going to slowly pull. And, well, that took 6.33 pounds. So there is a difference. We'll do that same test on the other two brands as well. So, we've got uh, 2.1 pounds for a single 5-inch piece of duct tape, 
and then two smaller uh, approximately two and a half inch pieces um, pulling together from the center uh, was 6.33 so now I'm going to remove this FEP and we'll discard it, discard it and then we will go to the next one and we're going to speed this up again Okay, there we are. We're back. It's nice and taut. It's all on there. Now we're going to go back to our next five inch piece of tape. We are going to put our tab on it, punch the hole. And now we are ready to put it in the vat. Get it all nice and flat. Okay, it's in there. It's ready to go. We are going to turn this on. We need to reset it to pounds set for peak reading. It's ready to go. It's zeroed out. We're going to hook it on here, slowly pull it, and we've got 2.89 pounds, which is actually worse than the cubic. What? Oh. Um, so that's interesting. I didn't expect that. So now we're going to do a six inch piece and split it in half and do the double test. Okay, so now we've got our double tape. We've got our old value of 2.89. We're going to zero that out and we're going to hook it on here. And now we're going to slowly pull that. And that was 6.27. And so now, we're going to try the American-made DuPont stuff. Be back in a moment after I trash this film. Okay, we're back. We've got a new fresh fe uh, uh, FEP in, very taunt, and it's ready to go. So now we're going to start with our 5 inch piece.
put our tab on it. Punch our hole. Put it across the FEP. Okay, there it is, across the FEP. We're going to pull the tab up. We're going to turn our machine on, our meter. Okay, set it to pounds. Set it to peak so it's ready to go. It's zeroed out. And here we go. And we've got 3.02 pounds. Now we're going to do our 6 inch piece. anywhere close to even. And of course I didn't get those lined up. Alright, there we go. Got them all lined up. Gonna reset the zero. And Five point four seven pounds. Okay. And now let's talk about the conclusion. Turn it up. Okay, so the results when it came to the in a cubic, we got two point one pounds on the single five inch long uh, piece of duct tape. Uh, but when we did the double uh, duct tape and pulled from both sides, it was 6.33 pounds. When it came to the EPEX NFAP, um, it was 2.89 pounds on the single 5 inch, and then on the double um, pull, uh, it was 6.27. So a little bit better on the double pull, that might be the better test. I don't know, I was trying to just find a better way of, of demonstrating this. So then now we go to the DuPont stuff on the five inch pull, um, it was well, a single pull, it was 3.02 pounds, worse than the other two, but on the double it was actually better at 5.47 pounds. Um, so take it for what you will. I do think that the DuPont is the better product, um, and that's not just because I'm selling it. Um, but uh, um, those are the results I got. You watch the tests, um, you make the decision. Um, if you want to purchase the DuPont branded film from me, I've had some problems setting up the website at the time of this video, um, my webpage for selling this stuff. So at the mean, for the meantime, in the description below, you will find my email address. Feel free to email me and I can send you an invoice either through Square or PayPal. Um, once 
uh, I have my website uh, s finished, set up, and everything, then I will change the description below to include links to my webpage. Um, for now, happy printing!